does the body have a mechanism to think all fake sweeteners have a detrimental effect on the body or treat them like sugar depends on the sweetener sucralose for instance that has a chemical bond that we know the digestive enzymes can't break down so if we stick with sucralose for instance uh, it also has a chlorine molecule added so that that can't be digested uh, but Richard you know about xylitol and sorbitol and all that don't you yeah, so xylitol, sorbitol can still be absorbed by as much as 65% as carbohydrates. So they are types of polyols, which people say that um, are not digested, absorbed in the body, but they are as much as 65%. Erythritol is not. Uh, it does. Uh, it can elicit that um, um, cephalic response, uh, but it generally doesn't do it in most people. So it's it, it's not a polyol that's going to be absorbed. It's just whether it, it elicits that response. Um, in the mouth initially, but generally, I don't find it does. Um, erythritol, glycerol, um, and stevia, I find to be the best tolerated. Uh, and again, some people can't tolerate them at all because if, if they have something sweet, it leads to these sweet cravings, uh, and then they have issues with um, with combating those those cravings. And they, so they need complete abstinence. Others need um, those incremental steps. Um, so if you are one of those people, then those are the best sweeteners to go for. Go for.